what is up you guys it is tyler welcome back 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 to the tyler williams channel welcome to an aew video we are doing our predictions for aew all elite wrestling double or nothing which is happening this saturday in just two days as you can see right now i am in my hotel room in las vegas i'm staying at the tuscany suites and casino i'm currently in my room it is uh one 117 yeah it's like 1 for 17 in the afternoon uh, i've been like really sluggish today because i was up like until 4 a.m yesterday which is 7 a.m my time i've never been up that that late before but i was out you know out in town hanging out with some people you know having some fun so now I gotta buckle down and get this video out before I go back outside and, you know, get something to eat and go see what else Vegas has to offer during the day, at least. So, yeah. That being said, I wanted to get this video out for you guys, so we're gonna get it out here. Our predictions for AEW Double Nothing is happening this Saturday. It's gonna be a great show. I can't wait for it. Without further ado, let's get straight into this match card. So, first off, we have the buy in, which is their pre show, what's happening at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 4 p.m. Pacific Time. First off, we have Sammy Guevara versus Kip Sabian. And you know, the thing I love about this show is that since it's like their first show, it's a new show, there's no reports going out like, oh, this guy's pegged to win. Da, da, da. It's, it's really just you going in open mind really no thing to base your opinion off of but just who i think is going to win and i just like that because it just feels like the old days of wrestling when you used to be a fan yeah so kip sabian versus sammy guevara i'm more inclined to go with sammy guevara since he's the more well-known name at least in the states kip sabian is a really good wrestler though i've seen his work in uh, rev pro and all that other stuff it's going to be a good match though i'm sure they're going to start off the show they're going to be the first official match in aew so that's good that's a pretty good endorsement for them um, so I'm gonna go with Sammy Guevara and win this match. Then we have the Casino Battle Royale, and as it displays on my phone, the names involved are goes as follows. We have Sonny Kiss, Brandon Cutler, Ace Romero, Brian Pillman Jr., Glacier, Sunny Days, MJF, Joey Janela, Dustin Thomas, Billy Gunn, Jimmy Havoc, Michael Nakazawa, Jungle Boy, Luchasaurus, both members of the Piper Party, and now at yesterday, Sean Spears, aka the former ty dillinger i think everyone has the same opinion that uh lucky number 21 is going to be john moxley and um i agree with them i think john moxley is imminent to be in this battle royal i think he's going to win the battle royal so i'm going with john moxley and if i had to go with the name based off of this list alone if i had to go with anyone who went just from this list uh you know, it's a kind of out of left field, but uh, I feel like I kind of want to go with MJF. I, I, no really specific reason. I mean, he won, like, the first match in All In was MJF versus Matt Cross, and I believe MJF won that match. MJF is a really good talent, and I think he could definitely be the future of this company in the days, months, and years to come. I'm going to go with MJF. Plus, I've seen the guy live. I'm not gonna pretend like I know the guy, but I don't know. I've been following his career for the last year, so of all the people in here, I'm more in tune and inclined with him than everyone else. So I'm gonna go with him to win this match. If not him, maybe Jungle Boy. But yeah, I'm going with MJF. Then we get into the main show. So as it goes on this match card, we have the six woman tag team match. We have Aja Kong, Yuka Sakazaki, Sakazaki, Sakazaki. Yuka, Yuka Sakazaki and Imai Sakura versus Hikaru Shida, Ryo Abe, and Ryu Misunami. Ah, oh, man. We have a lot of Joshi wrestlers in here. I can't wait. My baby, my girl, Hikaru Shida is in this match. She's a really good talent, even though a lot of her matches are her getting her ass kicked and her working defense. I'm going to go with Team Aja Kong because Aja Kong is one of the most well-known and biggest joshi style wrestlers in the world period uh so yeah i'm gonna I'm go aja kong the win aja kong seen win this match maybe she'll pin hikaru shida we get a singles match at fighter fest i'm not sure but i'm gonna go aja kong to win this match then we get into the next match and helico and jack evans versus the best friends chucky e. t and beretta oh my god i can't wait for this match back when i used to watch Lucha underground i was a huge 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 fan of Van Helico and Jack Evans. They were such a great tag team, especially Jack Evans. He just could do all these flips and turns. He was a super acrobatic. And now Helico doing all those crazy dives off ladders. And I'll never forget that dive he did off of uh, Dario Cuero's office onto those two guys. I can never forget that moment. Never. 
So they're definitely one of the most agile wrestlers on the roster, period. And the best friends, Chucky Team Beretta, I know I know them from their act in New Japan Pro Wrestling as the best friends. It's going to be a really good match. Can't wait for it. I'm going to go with the best friends to win this match, though. I don't know why exactly. Like I said, this match is this match got really just my prediction. Nothing to base off of. Just like I think this guy's gonna win. I'm gonna go with the best friends to win. Then we get into the next match, the triple threat women's match between Britt Baker, Nyla Rose, and Kylie Ray. Um, Brandy Rhodes has been starting up the pot on Rhodes of Double or Nothing, telling all three women that she's got them in the bag to win. Not that they're gonna win, but she got them in the bag to win, like a vote of confidence or some shit. Who man, I don't think it's gonna be Nyla Rose. Part of me leans towards Britt Baker because she was like the first woman signed, but I'm going to go with Kylie Ray to win. I think Kylie Ray wins this match. There's nothing said about there being a uh, AEW Women's Championship. You know there's going to be an AEW Women's Championship sometime in the near future. But I'm thinking the woman that wins this match is probably going to be in line for a Women's Championship match whenever that gets into fruition. So I think it's going to be Kylie Ray. I'm going to go with her to win. Then the next tag team match, we have a six-man tag team match. We have SCU. SCU? We have Christopher Daniels, Frank Kazarian, and Scorpio Sky versus the Stronghearts. T-Hawk, Lindemann, and Seema. We have the OWE guys coming over here to show off their stuff. I've seen like a few OWE clips, Oriental Wrestling Entertainment. I've seen some clips of them. I've seen a few matches. I have not seen a Seema match yet, so I don't know exactly how he performed. I know he's facing Kenny Omega. I think he's facing Kenny Omega at Fighter Fest. He's facing somebody at Fighter Fest in a singles match. So he's going to have a single match soon. T Hawk and Linda, Linda Man. Especially T Hawk is definitely someone to look your eye out for. SCU, they're they're like one of the most popular factions, tag teams in America. But I'm going to go with uh, OWE represent. I think they're going to win this match. Then we get into the very up in the air match that's supposed to be Hangman Page versus Pac. Now been canceled because Pac basically pulled out. So now it's Hangman Page versus Mystery Opponent. Uh, I don't know who this Mystery Opponent would be. I don't even know who they would have it be. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm a very upset that we're not getting that match now. I will say that much. Then we get into the top three matches. First off, Cody versus Dustin Rhodes. This has been a match that uh, has very short buildup, but some of the best buildup going into the show. Cody's out to kill the Attitude Era. Dustin represents all that the Attitude Era is outside of WWE. You know, they always wanted to do this match. They did do it at Fastlane. I remember, I vaguely remember their Fastlane 2015 match being just, like, really bad. Especially the ending was just, like, really, really, really weird. So, they never really got a proper single feud or singles match that's televised. So, being able to see that live is going to be quite the experience. I'm going to go with Cody to win this match. There's really no reason for Dustin Rhodes to win. You know what I mean? If Cody's trying to kill the Attitude Era and AEW is like this new i hate saying new era i really do because nobody's made me hate this term this new kind of foundation for wrestling this new kind of time period of wrestling fuck it, fuck it new era in wrestling then i think it starts with cody beating dustin and we kind of just progressively get into that with AEW. so i think cody wins this match then we get into the next match the young bucks versus pentagon jr and Phoenix for the AAA World Tag Team Championships. The Young Bucks have already beaten Phoenix and Pentagon Jr. I believe in AAA. I don't. I think it was for like a big show. I think that show had like 5.3 million viewers. It was like a huge number they did, and they beat them for the Tag Team Championships. I don't really see any other option but uh, Phoenix and Pentagon winning those titles back. So I'm gonna go with the Lucha Brothers to win this match. Then we get into the main event. Kenny Omega versus Chris Jericho. Oh man, you know we. I. The reason I even got in to New Japan Pro Wrestling was Chris Jericho versus Kenny Omega. If that match would have never happened, I don't even know if I would have ever started watching New Japan Pro Wrestling full time like I do now, honestly. So the fact that that match happened, it led me into watching New Japan. I got, I became Kenny Omega fan through that virtue. I've always been a Chris Jericho fan. I've grew up on Chris Jericho. He's my all-time favorite wrestler, so there's really no way I could have not been excited for this match. Not even just because it's the rematch, but it's Chris Jericho. I fucking love that guy so much. As you can see, I'm repping 
Chris Jericho. I have like two other Chris Jericho shirts in my bag. One of them I probably will be wearing during Double or Nothing. That's my prediction. I think Chris Jericho beats Kenny Omega. I don't think there's any other... Chris Jericho already lost to Kenny Omega in New Japan. You know, Kenny Omega could beat him because it's AEW. Kenny Omega's probably going to be one of their future world champions. The, the big names in the company that could put Kenny over. But with Chris Jericho being a big WWE name, a big, yeah, WWE name, I think putting Chris Jericho over in that sense will give AEW that big boast. And on top of that, a new layout has been kind of set out here. As the winner of the Casino Royale will challenge the winner of this match at a future event to crown the first ever AEW World Champion. I, I would, after hearing that, I would lean more towards Kenny Omega, but, but, because Chris Jericho is facing Kazutsuko Okada at Dominion for the IWGP Heavyweight Championship, I do I don't see Chris Jericho losing. Like, why would they kill Chris Jericho's momentum going into that match? Kenny Omega doesn't really have anything major, I would say, going on for him after this. Chris Jericho has something major going on for him after this match. So, I think, if anything, Chris Jericho should beat Kenny Omega. And we'll probably end up getting Chris Jericho versus John Moxley at the next show. They will do big numbers if they do Chris Jericho versus John Moxley. If not, we could do Chris Jericho versus a new guy. That would be amazing too. I can't wait for it. I'm just so overall just super excited for this show. I know you guys are too. Please comment down below your predictions for this show. Hit the like button and subscribe button. Share this video. And I'll be getting my videos out for my weekend of Double or Nothing ASAP Rocky. I'm about to go edit this video, then I'm going to go straight back out into the world of Vegas and see what it has to offer. So, I love you guys always, and I'll talk to you later. Peace out, guys. Too sweet. Ooh.